get access to these rewards? Click join or click the link in the description. Then visit antiami.com forward slash battle pass and sign up. I don't even know why the fuck I'm even sending this to you. I just... The police won't do anything, so yeah. My name is Leo. And I lost my little brother just over three weeks ago. His name was... His name is Liam. He was bullied. He was bullied every day. Every fucking day. So my brother, a 13 year old kid, man, he. he fucking. Oh, fuck, man. He. he killed himself. Because he didn't see a way out. Because he didn't know how to make the hurt stop. And no one knew. So he wrote a letter and he took those pills. And he was gone. I was in the next fucking room while he lay on the floor dying. And I couldn't save him. I couldn't fucking save him. He came home with bruises and cuts almost every day. And he never told me who did it. But now I finally know who it was And I want to make them hurt I want them to cry and scream Thank you for it all to stop Just like my fucking brother did But it won't stop I want them to be afraid And to know that no one's coming to save them I want all the pain and the hurt I feel to burn through them I want it to tear them up from the inside out I want them to know who they took from us. Please. What? I wish to share a story with you. <laughs> Why the fuck do you sound this like a robot? This story is about a boy and his favorite blue hat. This boy was pushed and he was pulled. He was beaten and he was bruised. 
until his body matched that fat, in color, and in heart. He was blue. Bro, this what? boy suffered torment, simply for the way his body housed, mauled by a group of people, their entertainment was aroused. But one in particular, saw to it, that this boy in his blue hat, would suffer each and every day. Some might say, his addiction to this boy's pain. He could never disobey. What the fuck? Hey yo, what are you on about man? <laughs> <laughs> Actually though, no, shut up you fucking twat. Are you familiar with this story? No, and I don't fucking give two fucks you- do you know how this story ends? No, I don't know, and I don't fucking care, you dumb little cunt. Now shut the fuck up! The boy wearing his favorite blue hat decided that enough was enough. He would no longer let them make him suffer. Can you shut up, man? The only Holy way shit. he could do so was to end that life of his. They tormented. And so, that boy and that blue hat, and his pain along with that, lay buried so those who hurt him can reach him no longer. <laughs> oh then. He fucking killed himself. That boy finally exploded, bruv. Bro. <laughs> no way he actually he fucking, fucking did. It. The fat <laughs> <laughs> so maybe now you know just who this boy was. No? No idea what you're talking about, blood. No idea. Just making up that boy lies buried in the ground. And whether you will admit it or not, you, Jay, for the shovel, that very Yo, hold on. What did you just say? Are you fucking Bro, fuck that fat piece of shit. Who the fuck are you, man? Huh? We are anonymous. I'm not. <laughs> no, you're fucking not. Bro, said Bro do you want to know where I live? 17. What? 17? <laughs> the number isn't an address, you stupid cunt. Street. What? Wait. What? Yeah, that's not where I fucking live. What so the fuck, fuck is this? Is that so? Are you trying to threaten me? What? You wanna threaten me, dickhead? And who the fuck am I, huh? Huh? You are a little goldfish, attempting to blow bubbles at the sharks that now surround you. What? Who the fuck Mr. are you, man? Tell us, do you feel safe? The fuck? You think we did not know you played a part in oh. the bullying of that young boy in that blue hat? Bo Bro, no, man! <coughs> and what the fuck are you gonna do to us? What are you gonna do over a fucking game, huh? What? Just because he made fun of a fat fuck and he decided to kill himself because he can't handle it? Fuck that little piece of shit! Mister, you fucking- You are alone and it's time for the pain and despair you forced upon that young boy's family to find you and this bumbling fool you call an ally will not protect you and you will soon realize you can no longer hide yourself in numbers for the Legion seeks you now. What the fuck does that mean? You're not anonymous. I know people in it, yeah? And you a fucking It's now time shit. our reach begins to sink from the depths of the digital and converge on the reality that you believed was theirs to control. What? Bro? What? What the fuck? What the oh, fuck? Wh what's going on, man? Bro. You will listen on Bro. as your friend's reality depends and distorts as their fears are magnified to unending, unrelenting death. Who are you? What Tell happened? me, Mr. Do you hear them? The walls of your reality cracking and crumbling what around you. Your heart swelling and pounding in grand defiance as it desperately clings to the false sense of safety you perceived you ever had. No, bro, who are you, man? Bro, what the fuck are you gonna do? 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 What the fuck are you gonna do?
Are you being serious? Are you being serious? What the fuck? What did he do? Now, Mr. Sw if what you did wish do? for the ignorant psychosis of safety to be maintained, you Bro. will join us in a private lobby immediately. But what the fuck? Hey yo, bro, what? Bro, what happened to him? What happened to my fucking friend? Oi, I'm talking to you. Who the fuck are you? Hello? Who the fuck are you? You fucking told me to be here, so I'm here. So tell me what the fuck is going on. What is this? What? Is this you? Hey, are you fucking doing this? How do you have these? Okay, stop, I get it. I get it. Now, for fuck's sake, stop it. Stop. Would you like us to continue to uncover and excavate more twisted fragments of your past? Who was you? This is now a bargaining chip. Huh? You see, if you do not comply with our instructions, if you decide to run, this chip will fall to the house, and your freedom will be cashed in. What? And after seeing the footage, after being supplied with all of your personal information, the police will come for you, and they will dig, and they what will the put fuck, the puzzle man? of your past together. And tell me, how do you think they will feel about the picture it creates? What the fuck, bro? Accept or do not, regardless, if you do not follow our instructions, if you run, the consequences of your actions will surround you, grasp you, and they will drag your reality into a hell you do not yet know. Oh. As well as robbing a mother of her child's innocence. Hey, don't fucking talk about my mum, man. Who are you? Who are you? you? Who the fuck are you calling? Bro, what if Yo! Who the fuck are you calling? Yo! Hello? What the fuck? Hello, who is this? How the fuck do you have my mum's number? Hey! Hello? Bro, hang up! Hang the fucking call Hello, up, man! What the this? fuck? Please! Bro, hang up, man! How her cries will send ripples through your soul. Why are you calling my family? Ripples that will move through you and collect the guilt that sits Bro, under the surface of your subconscious. A tsunami will form that builds to drown you from the inside out. Okay, I get it. I'll fucking do whatever you want. Just fucking hang up. Okay? Just fucking hang up. Very well, you will see now that our warnings are not simply empty vessels of intimidation. Who are you? You hereby accept that if you do not Who follow are you? each and every instruction to the letter, your consequences will surround you. Do you understand? Yes, I fucking get it. I fucking understand. You don't need to call my fucking family though. I fucking understand. Very well. Now, Tonight you will be made to understand that the suffering of a 13 year old boy and the loss of family will endure for the remainder of their lives. You will finally turn around and face your past for you have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. So your first task is simple. You will read the last note that was written by the boy. You push to suicide. Oh no. I didn't fucking push him to suicide. I'm fucking saying like that. Would he still be breathing if he had never met you? Man, come on! I didn't fucking do it. Would that boy still be breathing if he had never met you? But your actions may not have been the pills that tore through his body, 
burning a nervous system that did not even get the chance to finish growing. And come on, she loves. That never got to breathe the many breaths, life still owed them. Closing eyes. That never got to see past the insecurities you force them to stare into. Disabling a brain. Start with a world of experiences. That it was promised. And finally. Smothering a soul. That was destined to find its purpose in this life. But instead, it was held under a pillow. As it struggled and thrashed desperately, trying to survive. Until finally, it gave out. And its glow, dimmed to blackness. Jesus, man. But no, you are correct. Fuck. You were not those pills. You misters. Were the water that carried them, like the night's tide, into his body. Which run the world of a boy and the boy of the world. Fuck! Now you will read the last thing that boy will ever write. Okay, listen closely. Bro, oh, what the fuck? Is that you? Yes, now go and retrieve his oh, note. What the See them, aren't you? Begin reading his suicide note out loud. Okay. Mum, Dad, and Leo, I have to go now. I just don't want to be here anymore. It won't stop hurting, and I can't make it go away. They just won't leave me alone. Jay and his friends keep hurting me. <clears throat> I don't wanna f I don't wanna read this. Keep reading. Man, fuck this man! Fuck! <sighs> I can't tell you guys what happens to me, because they said they do things to you if I did. Man, I didn't <clears throat> fuck, bro! Continue. Cry, oh. all right. Okay. So I have to hurt myself, so it will stop. They said you wouldn't care if I went away, because no one loves me. So I don't think it will hurt you, but I love you, and I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm sorry. I'm starting to get shaky, but they said this is what happens when you do it. They said it hurts a little bit. But I'll be brave, because it's just like a long sleep, right? <laughs> Please tell Teddy, it's not his fault. I already told him I had to go, so he knows. Just tell him he was my best friend. I've got to go now, because I'm feeling dizzy. Mummy, I'm... S <sighs> There's just lines everywhere after that. He was trying to write. He was trying to fucking write. Fuck! Holy fuck! Holy he mentioned fuck. a name out of many. You were in his final thoughts. Your actions drove his. I was just fucking around. I didn't actually want him to fucking do it. Is a fisherman ever surprised to pull a fish out from the ocean after baiting the hook with every intention to capture it? Oh man, this is fucking different! No, it isn't. You will oh, accept fuck. this responsibility. His death must live with you. He, he actually... You now understand where his last thoughts oh. sat before his body laid bare. So, that means it is time for you to speak to a mother who was dealing with the suicide of her son. What? No, 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 bro, please. So you may now understand. I'm her not doing that. Pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Forgive us. Come on. I 
I don't want to do the that. Way for you to truly understand his mother's pain. Bro, it's too much for me. Please. I. Hey, what? How the fuck is my mom on the phone? What is this? Bro, that's my fucking mom. What's going on, man? We Fuck called do I a mother my mom. who was dealing with the suicide of her son. We did not say which mother it was. What? Mom. Jay. This isn't your number. You That's not me, man. Jay, I don't want to be here anymore. No. You are scared. What the fuck? Hey, stop what it. What do you mean you don't want to be here anymore? Kino Dembo Loa. Please tell me what's going on. It's not me, mom. And I can't make it go away. Fuck. Jay, 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 Jay. What, what is going on? It's not me, mom. It's fuck. I have to hurt myself, so it will stop. No, 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 baby, please. No, you don't have to hurt yourself. Mom, pick up the phone, man. Pick up the phone. Where are you? Pick it up. I'm sorry. Jay, I love please. you. Pick it up. I'm gonna miss you so much. Baby, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Pick it up, mom. You don't have to hurt yourself. Please. Don't hurt yourself, please, Jay. Oh, please. She didn't do anything wrong. Please. I'm right here, please. I'm you. Stop hurting her. Stop. Please. Stop. Stop it. Mrs. Your son is fine. We are dreadfully sorry we put you through this. You may speak to your son now. Speak, and she will hear you. Mom, I'm yeah, mom, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. What is going on? Mom, I'm, I'm so sorry. Mom, I'm fucking. I hurt. Jay! Wait, mom, I'm Your fucking. Son, I Mrs. Is trying to tell you that he bullied a young boy to death. Mom! What? He filled that young oh. boy's body with bruises and cuts, no. his mind with fear and pain. Again and again, I'm until sorry, that boy mom. could not hold on any longer. Until he became the shell that once housed that boy. No! Not my Jay, he wouldn't! No! Not my Jay! I'm sorry, mom. He wouldn't! The very Jay. words your son spoke sorry, to you mom. are from a suicide note from that boy, from that pain your son caused. Those words are what welcome his mother into the hell she resides to this day. Her chains are forged from her love of him and they keep her there. And so she sits in that hell always for him. Forever forced to endure the unrelenting recoils of her love. It was Leah, wasn't it? Oh. Wasn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, mommy. No, Mom, please. It wasn't your fault, alright? It wasn't your fault. Mom. I should have stopped you. No, Mom, please. Please. I failed you. I failed you. I'm a young boy. No, Mom, please. You didn't tell me, okay? I failed you. I did it. Okay? I should have stopped you. I did it, alright? You didn't do anything. That's right. I did nothing. Mom! <laughs> Mom, stop! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom, stop! What the fuck? Your mother is gone. There is never <laughs> pleasure in what must be done here for what it is worth. We did not want to hurt your mother, but saw it as the only true means to cut through you so you could see. Man. I fucking killed him. I killed him, man. I fucking killed him. I can't. Fuck. This concludes our interaction. In order for any clips or screenshots of your past actions to be dissolved and resoluted from our database, please call the following number and the evidence of your past will be removed along with our restraints and control over you. You may be them free to leave. 
Okay. You will call this number and communicate on loudspeaker. Hello? Do you know who I am? No. I'm Liam's brother. You. Bro, I'm so fucking sorry, man. I, 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 I wanted to hurt you, Jay. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to fucking kill you for what you did to my bro. And a part of me always will. I know. I, you forced me to watch my little brother get put in the ground knowing he won't ever come back out again. Do you know what that's like, Jay? I'm so... Do you? I don't. I don't. Bro, why didn't you fucking hurt me? You fucking killed him. Did nothing to me. Bro, why didn't you fucking hurt me? I wanted to. I wanted to so badly. Then do it. I deserve it. Fucking. With your brother. No one you deserve to fucking die, man. Not a fucking kid. I've hurt so many fucking people. So do it. Do it. Please. Do it. No. Do it. Please. Do it. Then another fucking family would lose their boy. Oh, and I will ever put your parents through what hell we endure every fucking day. Please. I just wanna go back. I wanna go back. I just wanna go back. Please. You can't take it back. And you don't get to wallow in this. What do I do, man? Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. You can't say. What? Go to the window and look outside. <clears throat> I'm at my window. You didn't see who Liam really was. You labelled him, and so no one else saw him either. But you will see him now. You will see who you really took from us. Oh my God. How are you? He's smiled no. that lit up rooms, he's laughed that that somehow made everything feel okay. And his heart, his heart was bigger than anyone I will ever know. I'm so sorry. You made fun of him for having scratches on his face. Do you remember that? Fuck. Do you know how he got those scratches on his face? 
Bro, what? There was a strike out on our street, and every night Liam refused to finish his dinner. Not just because you made him not want to eat, but because he didn't want that straight cat to go hungry. So every single night, he would feed it the last part of his dinner. He made it a cardboard shelter and put pillows from his room in there. One night, Liam saw the straight cat outside. It was being attacked by two dogs. He knew what it was like to feel alone and to be attacked for being different. So Liam ran outside and covered the cat with his body. <laughs> Those two dogs clawed and bit him until I found him out there, half conscious. And the next day when he was on his way to school, what did you say to him, Jay? You told him that those scratches were birthmarks. Birthmarks from his mum trying to abort him with a coat hanger. Fucking hell. And now that cat, he waits out there for him to come home. He's not coming home. He's not coming home, Jay. He's never coming home. <laughs> but he still waits. <laughs> Do you see him now? Do you see my brother? I see him. I promise you, I will never do this again. I just want to take you all back. Fuck! Peter, family, I'm so, so fucking sorry. I will never forget what I did. I'm going to go back. Jay, I forgive you. Oh, <laughs> my